you know? Have you ever done something similar to this where guys who steal material? I've done that many times. You know that. Doesn't Mencia perform at your club all the time? Not true. Hello. Hello. Don't even go there. You know that. Doesn't he? No. 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 Thank you. You stopped him? No. 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 From first day, come on. What? You know better than that. Come yeah. on. The yes. Yes. You know better than that. You're working for the so with you. Oh, dude. You know, come on, man. You know, He's I mean, there. He goes there. Yeah, but, you know, not not in, you know, most <laughs> of the people, they do anything like that. It's what about just, Dane? What about Dane? Dane Cook. Yes. What about him stealing people's material? Dane, he does not steal any. What are you talking I, I, about? What, what are you That's talking about? That's hilarious. He's Go on the internet. What Go on the internet and we'll watch all the videos, listen to all the people talk about it. See, you ever see the Louis C.K. clips? Yeah. When Louis C.K. was working out his material for uh, his HBO uh, special and Dane did three of his bits on a CD? Blatantly? I, again, again, uh, who took from who? No, 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 Dane, Dane Cook, he's a most hardworking guy. Yes, very hardworking, very ambitious. Everybody, and let me tell you, everybody jealous of him. They're trying to yes, undercut him. True. Oh, he's this, he's this. Very okay, true. what else you can come in? Because he have number one record, he have one number yes. one everything. But, uh, but, but what? They've everybody always said jealous. he was a thief way before that. No, no, nope. they yes, did not. They did. As soon as... Yes, they did. Bro. As they soon did. as he made no. it, everybody jumped. No, 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 no. Way, way before. That's not true. I never heard of it. No, as soon as he made it. Have you ever heard this? I have heard it. Well, the problem was when, it, when, the, when the clip showed up online, it got to be ugly because between Louie and Dane, and the clips were there, and it was like, oof. It's obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but not with the internet. But it's not it's just really, him. Really, really it's cool. Jim Brewer. He's stolen from me. He's stolen from a million different comics Maybe in L.A. Maybe that cutting at times. Like, like you said, Chappelle. I mean, when comics make it, a lot of times comics aren't jealous. No comics were ever jealous or bad about Dave Attell yeah. or Louis no. Black. There's a lot of guys that or make CK, it. Or CK or, or, or Chappelle. I mean, Chappelle's oh, enormous. Oh. Chappelle's a good example because he's yeah. so Nobody, nobody, yeah, nobody, nobody. Nobody says he steals, ever. Everyone yeah. says Dane steals. Yeah, but uh, let me explain something. You're not telling Dane. the truth. I'm telling the truth. No, you're I not. Know. Yes. Bro, but it's not no. true. It's no. not tr It's not a truth. I'm not saying you're a liar, but I'm saying you you might not be aware of it. It's definitely I not might true. Not, I mean, the only thing I'm saying, as soon as I see his record, his his CD came number one, and he went on the chart. He became, after Steve Martin, he was the first person going up the chart. Nobody ever done it. And everybody do got jealous. Everybody started calling. Well, yeah, well, 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 but that doesn't mean anything. You're, you're, still, you're avoiding the. No, the I'm point. not avoiding yes, something. He did, he did do a, a tremendous thing, and he was very successful, but the fact remains, he stole material. No, on I. On that CD, he took stuff from Louis C.K.'s HBO special from years before. That's a fact. But uh, yeah, show it to me. Show it okay. to me. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I, hey, you, you say, come on, hey, Jamie. You're a great diplomat, by the hey, way. Hey, Joe, where is it online? You are. I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, you yeah. can find it online. I mean, anybody can I search it. I think you go to redband.com. I think he's got it up. I think, uh, the, you know, there's a whole uh, a radar magazine is printing it. They're doing an article right now about him stealing. There's like a bunch of, uh, they're, they're, he's been accused of it on CNN, had a whole thing about comics saying that he steals. I mean, it's all over the place. Where there's smoke, there's fire. I've never met a single comic ever that people. People say steals that doesn't steal. Have you? Have mm -hmm. you? Bill, have you ever met a guy that everybody says is a thief, and you see the guy and goes, no, this guy's completely original. I've never the heard one. The only thing I, I remember was, was guys, uh, and I'm not going to say names, but just one guy who made it, and it's just everybody where I was at was saying, this guy took from me, this guy took from me, this guy took from me, and I was looking at their acts, and I was... It was. I didn't see it. Well, who is this? This doesn't make sense unless you give us context. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you didn't think he was a thief, you could say it. Cause you're not yeah, Leary. Like everyone's saying, Leary took Oh, his, took dude, that, the and, Hick and stuff? The Hick stuff is pretty I don't know uh, anything about it. I'm just saying that they Well, were you guys, never listened to the Hick they, stuff, they, they then. Guys, I they, saw Leary steal over and over again back in Boston. Early in the 80s, in the late 80s, rather, the early 90s. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes over and over and over again. Well, I, I saw him I do saw Ray Romano's who, material. I saw, guys, saw him do Tony V's material. I saw it with my own eyes in clubs. I saw him do Bill Hick's material verbatim. Then I saw Bill Hicks do the same material a month later, and I was baffled. I was an open micer. And I said, what the fuck is going on? I what I saw was guys confused. who stunk in their acts nobody would steal from were walking around saying it. Okay, that's, I'm sure like, there's the a lot of that. Of course there's so delusional I never people. Saw. That's delusional, of course, yes. Of course there's that, but the fact remains that guy's a thief. That's a fact. Uh, is, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Larry, I I Larry for sure, I've seen it over and over again. I saw it with my own eyes.
I mean, he doesn't anymore. But if you look at the difference between, you look at his, his first No Cure for Cancer, then look at Locked and Loaded, pre and post Hicks being dead. Dude, there's a monstrous difference in the level of the material. The material post Hicks being dead is fucking horrible. The stuff that he did before, when No Cure for Cancer is some brilliant shit. Yeah, it's a completely different thing because he was taking the ideas from someone else. That yeah, is a fact. Yeah, but uh, Joe, uh, I, if I can say something here, you, you're very fast to jump in a co in conclusion of something. Do you somebody. know why? Do well, you know why? Because, because uh, you know, I've been explain. the victim of it. No, and let I've me seen explain. it happen yeah. over and over again. And because I work very hard on my material and I write a lot and I sit in front of my fucking computer for hours on end and then I go to the comedy store and I have little pieces of paper and I go over it in my head how's which bitch am I going to do I'm going to go into that then I go into that and I work on this shit over and over and over again for months and then some fucking douchebag goes up he sees me kill with some bit and then he reworks it and then he goes on stage and you know what club owners don't do shit about it and then they get on here on a radio show and they say no one steals he doesn't steal he doesn't steal what and it's not true that, no. you haven't looked into it at all and you're defending someone who is widely known throughout the country as being a thief through the fucking comedy community community. You talk to club owners, you talk to people in HBO, you talk to people everywhere that I talk to people, they know he steals. Okay, let me explain something. It doesn't mean you telling me you, you thought of a material. Doesn't mean somebody else, if you thought of building a helicopter, yeah, and right. doesn't mean another person, another That's place, does do that not be a. There is a thing see. called parallel, parallel thinking. thinking, yes. yes. Yeah, but it's, uh, and then I've you, had that you happen can, to me. Yeah, but you sure, cannot. I've had that happen too. I had that happen recently. We were just talking about it. A buddy of mine in LA said, dude, I got this bit. It's like your bit. I go, don't even worry about it. You know, I know you're not a thief. You know, if you know a guy's not a thief, it's like you don't even have the conversation. You know, if you've got a, a comic that you know you respect, like, dude, it's a fucking common, it's something happened in the news and you thought about something and I thought about something and they're similar but I it's think sometimes if people are already jealous of a guy's success and then that parallel thinking happens it just becomes once you get to a certain level immediately becomes he's a thief he's a thief. without a doubt thank there you. are definitely thank crabs you. in a bucket thank however you. with the Dane Cook thing they Three were talking they were calling him a CD. thief they were calling him a thief for years years ago they were calling him a thief I was uh, I had a problem with him way back when he was doing one of my bits on premium blend he did my bit about tigers fucking on the discovery channel he changed it to rhinos I called him up he told me his own fucking agent told him to stop doing the bit and he was going to stop doing it. Then I came to the Laugh Factory and he's doing one of my other bits on stage. I confronted him and that was the last time I worked at the Laugh Factory. I don't work there anymore because I didn't want to go up in front of him and see him doing my shit and, and, and have him go up and do it. But I never thought Dame was going to make it. I, like a lot of people, thought that Dame was like a mediocre comic. I mean, he's a fantastic uh, self salesman, a, a great marketer, a genius strategist as far as like marketing himself and promoting himself. I mean, you got to give the guy massive amounts of credit for that tireless worker in that regard but I never thought he was very funny so I didn't I didn't worry about the repercussions of him stealing material I heard it from everybody over and over again comics were saying that he's stealing their shit he's telling them to stop doing bits that they've been doing for years because that's their bit they're gonna he's gonna sue them I mean I heard it from everybody you've heard it we, we've all heard it it's like it's not uh, because the yeah. guy got famous that's bullshit he was getting this this reputation long before for sure there's crabs in a bucket and for sure there's when people get famous people try to drag him down but that's not what's going on here yeah but again you gotta look at it of the way I'm looking at it yeah Maybe you look at it as a club no, owner and he no. puts asses in your no, seat no that's no, how you look at not, it that's not that's he's not he's not that's not the reason come on uh, what's been, the reason he been, he been working there 12 years right and a lot of people they came to me the same time he came with a joke another person came out with a joke the joke you're talking about discovery and uh, tigers and all of that everybody can do that joke and you saying to me well somebody see that joke it cannot be done another person I got a call from Jim Brewer Jim Brewer was working with Dane Cook in Canada and Jim Brewer called me up and he goes dude bro dude fucking Dane Cook's doing your material Not verbatim in Kent, mm, seven, yeah. eight years ago. It was a long time ago. And well, then I heard he did it on Premium Blend, and that's when I called him up. And I, Dan and I used to be friends. I was friends with that guy. He used to open up for me back in Boston when he was with Al and the Monkeys. He was a, a sketch group. And, you know, I, I've known him for a long time. He's always had that reputation. He's well, always had On that CD, there's three bits from this Louis C.K. HBO special. That are yeah, nearly word for word. He'll change I'm, one word and it's almost and, exactly Dude, I'm a same. huge comedy fan and I love it when people make it and I, I love being inspired. I love watching good comedy and I'm not one that believes that if someone becomes successful, that means that other people aren't successful. I think that it, there's enough success out there for everybody and I want everybody to be huge. I mean, I want everybody to, who's, who's a great comic to get out there and have a bunch of people enjoy their work, but that's not what's going on here. Well, uh, to me, uh, again, maybe some of a lot of stuff, uh, I'm not saying you, a lot of comics that I spoke to I see they're coming from jealousy. You they're think Louis C.K. is coming from jealousy? 
I don't know, Louis C.K., for example, one of the jokes that he particularly talks about, I seen it, Dane Cook was working on the stage much before Louis C.K. How long? How long? I don't know, about maybe eight, nine, uh, nine months before Louis Yeah, C. Louis C. had those jokes for about six years. Okay, six years. But and Dane's seen those jokes. But you don't know if Dane's seen it or he did. saw it on the, t on the TV of course, or some, of course something came in. Or you saying, oh, He's he went them. and he took the... He saw him. Louis was in the audience, and oh, Louis was on stage, and Dane was in the audience. Louis talked to Dane after he did sets. He, he talks about it. About a Dane saw him do the material. Uh, again, again, we all make an acquisition without, you know. I no, mean, no, no, all no, 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 we're not. We're not making accusations. No, let's, let's have Louis and uh, Dane start talking to each other, say this has happened. You saying stuff. Well, well, I mean, why, I, why are you defending him? Why are you the, openly because, defending because him? Because I'm openly defending him because of, I think a lot of, I mean, a lot of people, they went, they came to the club. I'm the only club. If I see. You're the only club? I'm the only club. The only club, other, what do you mean? The only club are van people. If uh, Carlos Mancio, any of that stuff, Paul Mooney came in, said Carlos Mancio did uh, his jokes. I was in Laugh Factory. I said, Carlos, you cannot do that anymore. But he you still can't. performs at your club. No, he doesn't. He doesn't ever perform at your club. Except, uh, no, no, only one time he came. Come on, he showcase. wasn't there recently. No, he came one time with a showcase for the uh, what they call it for uh, uh, what was it? Okay, that? well, I'm being lied to then because someone told me they saw him here very recently and they've seen him at your club a couple times. Well, I mean, if they've seen him, I don't know, but personally, so it's I when mean, you're not there that he. No, performs. I mean, I'm there all the time, but if okay, so there, you're admitting that Carlos steals. You know, Carlos steals. I don't know, Carlos. Again, Carlos. <laughs> but let me explain. No, no, I admit it. I admit it, Carlos. Let me explain it to you with. Call us. Call us. I admit it. Call him by a slave name. Okay. Okay. <laughs> call him Ned. Ned or whatever. Whatever. Is is the whole thing is I'm just trying to say I saw Carlos and George Lopez. They were upstairs. They were, you know, almost killing each other. That was I actually in the lobby when George Lopez grabbed him by the neck and threw him. No, it wasn't wall. in lobby. It was upstairs in my sure? club. It was upset. I thought it, it was in the park, bro. No, 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 no. I mean, might have happened more than once. Yeah. yeah I mean, uh, well, again, again, you get. Right. I mean, I saw it. I saw right. it. Uh, I, you know, I tried. What to... What happened with Lopez and Carlos? I don't get all the Lopez. Skinny. Carlos stole all Lopez's shit and did it on his HBO special. Lopez Carlos is him. more subtle about his stealing now, but in the early days, it was fucking horrible. It was just blatant, verbatim, just just giant chunks of material. He's not a creative guy. I mean, if you talk to the guy, he's not very intelligent. Doesn't have an unusual point of view, and he just steals. He's oh, so him and Lopez had a beef. Yeah. In, in the he's club. had a beef with yeah. everybody, bro. Mooney, yeah, Lopez. Mean, you know, I mean, I've seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of people. They get in a fight and everything and the time they came in to me they told me about it and I find out if they did it then I try to react on it and do whatever I can mm -hmm. and to come in to tell me oh as soon as somebody make it and everybody jealous and trying to put him down I I I I am a you keep I'll, say, I'll say something that, about though. Louis though Louis did not push I will say this cuz I know yeah. Louis well yeah. he I didn't know push Louis, that, Louis, well Louis didn't push that issue he actually uh we were talking about it one time on the set and he's like nah man I don't want to get into it and, and and talk about it publicly, just because then it seems like you're bashing the guy who's getting famous. So Louis actually yeah. tried to be very low key about that whole thing. He I tried to be big purpose, about it. Like, I, 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 yeah, I had a conversation with him about it, and I said, dude, you're not going to come off bitter if you're just honest about it. You don't have to, you know, just it's, you don't have to like let a guy get away with something like that. You can talk about it and not come off bitter. It is possible. Yeah, but again, okay, everything, all right, he stole this, he stole that, but Thanks. everything he's made so far, he made his movie, became number one, that's this all, came that's number all, one, that's this is all, all he stole. That doesn't mean anything. Time. No, bro, we're not talking about the fucking movies, man, we're talking about comedy. But yeah, we're talking you about think comedy that's a big deal? and everything, everything. You're, you're is, making it like it's not a big deal. A lot of people don't no, do, stole I, until they see these CDs that become number one on, on, on the charts. Once they see it, once it's out there, they're like, oh, that's the real cool, that The real cool. thing about Dane is Dane would have made it without stealing. They, Dane made it because he's brutally ambitious and he's a no, very he's smart a guy. He's a talented, too. He's a very but talented performer. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I believe all that. Yeah, uh, but you're not. Leaving, okay. All uh, right, I'm, ba I'm back. I'm sorry. Louis C.K., uh, Dane Cook. <laughs> okay. Got some audio. Because you okay. haven't heard this yet, right? Uh, let's see it. Yeah, please. All right, let's see if you have a comment. <clears throat> so this is Louis C.K., obviously. Listen closely. One time I saw a guy in a bicycle, and he was about to get hit with a car door. It was horrible. And he wasn't looking, and the lady opening the door wasn't looking. It was just, like, just for me. And I didn't know what to do. I was like, ah! Like, I, I wanted to yell something, but what do you yell? And I'm trying to, like, if time slows down, I'm trying to choose the thing to yell that will have all the information that he needs. Because it was happening really fast. I had, like, that much time to yell, you know, what can I yell in that much time? This, hey, you 
the guy to my yard. Hang on, that's not. <laughs> that's funny. She's going over to the guy. Shit. <laughs> So I, I just yelled out, bad thing! <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't really specific enough. Oh, well. So there you have it, Louis C.K. Now, the, what's that from? You know offhand, Joe? Oh, it's, I don't know. It's 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 one of those HBO specials, or is it a CD? This goes back a while. A I've seen, I saw Louis do that years ago. I actually don't know where it's from. It's like 2000. It's like from 2000. 2001, they're saying. All right. And now here's Dane Cook. That's from 2005. Okay. Can I comment on that? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Absolutely. We're playing it for you. Okay, okay. That particular thing, I know Dane Cook. He came to me. He said he saw an action really happen. Now, you guys coming up say because of, you know, it, it was rec recorded so much. If it, something happened to somebody. But dude, he saw that bit. That's the same bit. No, he it, it saw this accident happen. That's, that's all well and good. You see an accident doesn't mean you're allowed to take someone's bit to describe the accident. And that's what he did. He described it exactly the same way he saw Louis C.K. describe it. That's a stolen bit. Well, I, um, to me, the time he described the accident happened to him. That doesn't mean anything. That, that does mean to something because no, if something happened to you, Joe Rogan, if somebody punched you in the face or something, yeah. and you're going to talk Are about you it, you can't me? say you can't say no. I, no, no, no. Are and you, you falling you apart here, Jamie? No, no. I mean, I'm saying somebody. somebody Jamie, you're something. falling apart. No, here, no. Right? That's a stolen bit. No, it's not. Can, can I? Get, can we get a consensus here? Yeah, How many people believe that was a stolen bit? It's very close. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, close. Yeah, if everyone in the in the peanut gallery just raised their hands, everyone out there, Here's Bill Burr, is that a stolen bit? See, if you have something happen Dude, to you, I see I, people on stage and they'll do a bit. I'm like, oh my god, the same stuff happened exactly to me. You Dude, don't, I, I had a bit one time, and I swear to God, another guy came out. He had a bit, and it was like fucking the setup That's that possible. we had were like word. For fucking word, and I got all paranoid. And I started inventing this conspiracy. Like this guy's on a TV show. He had writers, and they they were in this Chinese restaurant that I was performing in out in fucking Worcester, and they saw it. And then I just <laughs> after a while, I just realized that like that is possible. Like parallel thinking. We we were yeah, discussing. Yeah, me and uh, but this is not a case Greg of Chirolo parallel had, thinking. Had a bit about again. Uh, we're talking about six years before, and during those years, and before that, he was doing the bit. Before he recorded it in 2001, he was doing that bit before, and he's been doing it, and then. Dane comes along and puts it on a CD in 2005. You don't think he saw that? This Joe, you, know, Joe. You, know the, you know what the thing is? The, the pro people definitely steal. They definitely swipe shit. They definitely switch shit up. But actually fucking proving it is what sucks. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because, Absolutely. Because people you. rewrite they, things. They or being a paranoid. Being a paranoid, Jamie, Joe. there's nothing paranoid so about that. It is that. paranoid. That, that is Jamie, paranoid. there's nothing paranoid about what you just heard. I, no, because I heard the other part of the story. You don't want to face the, the, the other part of the story. Of the, story. Mean the guy, he was, he was almost in an accident. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear what, what okay, happened. Okay, let's look at it this way. Uh, no. You know Chris Rock's joke? about uh, tossing your salad you know that joke he does about uh, watching that prison yeah. show now what if I watch the same prison show and I go on stage and do a joke very similar about tossing your salad even though I know Chris Rock had done that show that joke for five fucking years about tossing your salad that would be stealing material Jamie that's what that is okay, let me even though that. I okay. saw the show okay. Okay. even though I saw the same show he saw it's still stealing material when you know another guy did the exact same fucking yeah, that's thing that okay, okay. who got there first okay. right. no no no, I understand. I understand. It's the same setup. I listen, that could have been parallel thinking. Let's uh, go to another. Yeah, well, well, no, no, can, so? can I make, a, can can so? I make a one no, comment? No, 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 what do you think? No, I, it, it's way too close. Well, let's it's stealing, let, right? I, you yeah. think it's stealing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, Anthony, what do you think? Joe, we have a yeah, soft, we have a soft spot yeah. for this because in radio, the same shit happens to you guys all the time. Okay, can I say something? One example. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
And no, I, here's I'm, another like, example. You have to say it too. Like I never jumped on the Dana stealing bandwagon. Only because I know a lot of people attack somebody when a guy is getting. You have to see how many instances it happens in. Like if you hear one bit. And you go like it, it could have been one, one bit. bit. Absolutely, it could have been there is something thinking. that can be very close. If you have an open mind, all right, fine. Parallel. Yeah, I, I, I have not heard that. Let's, 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 let's try another one. Okay. Let's try okay. another one. You don't want to listen to me. Here's Louis C.K. What do you do? Well, you'll have your say. Okay, thank you. Here's another example. Louis C.K. first. My wife and I were thinking of having a baby, and I like to have a kid because you can name your kid anything you want. I like that part. I like to give my kid an interesting name, you know, like a name with no vowels, maybe, you know, just like. Milk the pring. Just like 40 F's. That's his name. Go clean your room. You know, something like that. All right, so that's Louis C.K. Yeah, from 2001. Louis is a fucking yeah. an original guy, man. Louis yeah. is a very, very out original. there original yeah. guy. Yeah, weird. All right, here's Dane Cook. Very weird. Well, uh, what do you have to say about that? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's what I'll say here. This is what I'll say now. One can happen. I don't know. This is, you know, <laughs> where like, there's like smoke, awkward. there's fire. Yeah, Look, I, not, I used to like good. the guy too until he stole from me. It's not, it's not an uncommon discussion amongst comedians. That's almost word okay, for word, Jamie. Okay, what do you got to say? Okay, let me explain something, you guys. We wouldn't be surprised if you just start yelling nigger a lot. Stop! 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 Even. Going that 75 way. bucks, yeah. Opie. 75 yeah. bucks. Why are you going that way? Why are you going that way? Oh, not that word. Okay. 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 okay, let me let me. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, okay. We're going to watch okay. it. Let me tell you. Let's let Jamie. Learn that Jamie, word out was Jamie. a lot cheaper back in the 1800s. <laughs> okay. Jamie, Jamie, it cost like friend. 20. Just, 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 okay, right. let, me, let me. Dane Cook. Is one thing about Dane Cook, he goes up there, he talks, he's not like a comedian that go write the material, and he talk, like accent happen, like the time he goes on the stage, there's somebody who is talking to him about kids and something like that, and he just blobs whatever comes to his mind. Maybe the thought of the same thought was going on, he doesn't write the material, he goes up there, he might make up the material right on the spot, and he's not like, he's commenting what's happened to him. And again, this one, I would say he went on the stage and something happened to the kids or something. He come. One time, I got to tell you one thing so you uh, clarify something. Let me explain something. Oh, you're please. in denial, okay, bro. No, no, no. Oh, I'm deep. not in denial. This, this is me. a little deep Jamie. denial, okay, Jamie. Okay, Jamie. Okay, can, I, can, I, can I finish all, it? Jamie, can I finish you're, you're, it? You're, you're, it's not true because okay. he says that joke all the time. Okay. It's not like someone yelled at him. What about kids, Dane? And then okay. he just said, okay. uh, I want to name a kid with a lot of letters together. Even though I've never heard anybody do that before. Okay. And I will okay. say, even though the bits are very similar, I, I did kind of enjoy Dane's bit, too. Did you enjoy it? He does it with the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, one time, one time a, a guy... Maybe laugh. Yeah. <laughs> one time, well, i got to tell you something. One time, Los Angeles Times was doing an article about uh, Robin, William, Robin William being taking material from other people. Yeah. True. And I... They call me, everybody, they talk to everybody in the industry, everybody. They say, yeah, Robin doing that. Robin did that on Tonight Show. Robin did that on from me here. Robin did that, that. But for Robin, my only thing is seeing him to what he's doing on the stage and how long he's been doing it. Robin is a type of person, he's addictive to laughter. And that's what I said. We'll call attention whores. I don't know if it's a. He it just doesn't like a, a drug addict. Is a, uh, he need a fix? The time he's on the right. stage, he need the laughter. Right. And, and that's as know, opposed and Robin, to what? As opposed to every other don't fucking so, comedian. Don't need yeah. As opposed to what alternative comedy? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Dude, that, if, if you're defending, that's one of the shittiest. Uh, no, no, I'm if, not if saying you're defending no. it because he's addicted he loved, to love, no, love, no, love. I'm saying he took it. He took it. He took it. And he took it. Robin Robin Williams is a joke thief. 
Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we have Robin, but Dane no. Still Dane no? It's still Dane no. Let's hear the third one. Hold on, hold on. Treat These yourself to Treat yourself material. to number three. Okay, right. okay let's see. <laughs> <laughs> treat yourself. Wait, Ari, what was your <laughs> thought? Buddy. These are two. Wait, we got to get him to do it now, right? All right, let's hear it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Jimmy, can you do me a favor and just say treat yourself? Treat yourself. Uh, well, treat what did I say? What did I do? Nothing. Uh, you're, you're Why are you there. picking on me now already? Well, yeah, you are. sound like you really know. Buddy, listen. Uh, you just one sound more, like someone we know. One more bit, buddy. Someone that I... Whatever. All right, here's oh, the what? third someone example. Someone took your right? material? Here's another one. <laughs> no, I jumped on his cake one day. Uh-oh. After he said, treat yourself. Uh-oh. All right, here's the third example. First, Louis C.K., the bit is called Itchy Ass. And I had an itchy asshole for like a week. And I could have won a million dollars. I still would have been going, fuck my asshole! It itches! <laughs> I wanted to like eat bad food so I would like fart to scratch it. <laughs> oh, that's a damn funny bit. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. It itches. We're, we're going to do that one on the radio Monday when we have an, a different audience. And uh, here's uh, oh, Dane Cook a few years later. The other day. Just rewriting material, man. Here's the deal. Here's the question, mm -hmm. Jamie. These are three bits from a Louis C.K. HBO special that all three bits appeared on Dane Cook's CD four years later. Okay. Now, that's you telling me... A, well, okay. you, wait a minute. Do you think it's even possible that he stole... Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Uh, let, let, I mean, let me finish what I'm okay, saying. Okay, but okay. just answer that question first. Is it possible... I don't know. I don't, uh, you know, I, I personally, I don't think he's that type of person. He's not that type of person, buddy. He's not a, buddy, a person. He buddy, buddy, he's buddy, he's he not is. a thief. Okay. Hey. Well, okay. Yeah. I mean, you said Lucy C.K., he get an uh, itchy asshole, and uh, Dana, he would never have an itchy asshole. Maybe he never... <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're saying. That's exactly what we're saying. You got us right. I was going to say it. Buddy, itchy kind of asshole happened to everyone. I have itchy asshole right now. Right now. I'm um, to my, my ass is itching. Kill so, me. So I can uh, say anything. My yeah. ass is itching. It's, because it's, I, I want to yell nigger because... Uh, hey, hey, hey. That's not... Uh, that's I, not, I not say, enough of that word. I gotta say one bucks. thing, man. He, Jamie is punching in his way out of the corner. You gotta give him some. Oh, yeah, he really is. Fucking he is swinging blind, bro. Oh yeah. He had. He he you know, swinging. knowing like one of those old school fights where it's like ninety-eight rounds. <laughs> right. You, you are one hundred percent right that people will always be jealous of successful comedians and they always wish that upon themselves. But you're one hundred percent wrong that that happens with every comedian. That's not the case with Chris Rock. It's not the case with Dave Chappelle. It's not the case with David Tell. There's a lot of very, very successful very funny very famous comedians that no one ever says a word about them stealing material see so like Dice smoke, Dice fine. and Kinnison both were accused after they became huger than huge thank you oh, thank you stuff. thank never you never Kinnison being Th accused no no Kinnison well, accused yeah, Dice Kinnison accused Dice of one bit there was a, yeah. a bit that uh, you know Kinnison used to do a bit about gays. I don't know. How, how's one guy look at another guy's hairy ass and find love? How does that happen? Yeah. And Dice did a bit. How oh, does one guy, you know, see another guy's hairy ass? And it was a very similar thing. Right. And they'd work together. Who knows? But it was really like well, one, that's one. I know. Over, I was I was in a club the time they start fighting. They start punching each other in the face. Yeah. Let's talk about and I try, I try to separate yeah. them because of, mm. you know, again, people that come close to <laughs> each other. You know, it just, uh -huh. you know, really it just. cannot, you know... I mean, if you know a person, if I, you know, I mean, if I know Dane, as long as I know him 12 years or 13 years, he is not that type of person stealing. So maybe is they're close, but he's so not that type of person. Why, why have so many people say he does for like 10 years? Why is that? I have no idea because of you, maybe the people, they don't know him. Jamie, they, I know three him. bits Jamie. from the same guy from the same HBO special. All right, listen, special. we're not going to solve this okay. here. Yeah, we are not. No, We no. do have a plane to catch at 1.30. Oh, I like it, though. Jamie Masada has a oh, club, uh, another yeah. version of the Laugh Factory here in New York, right? It's on, yes, sir. It's yes, on sir. 42nd Street. It's actually got a really cool vibe. It's over Show World. 
which is a, a really it's, it's like a lot of the same uh, uh, interior was kept like the fucking lights and it's really a cool place to go man uh, I got a cringe here whites only once. though whites only absolutely whites only. that's right that. who's at the lamp factory in New York here oh, why you guys are you brought me in here roast me or you're trying no, to I'm pick on me no, what did I do wrong to you guys I'm sorry I was under a misconception I mean I really I love comics I love everybody I love Joe I love everybody in here you know I mean, <laughs> you gotta understand the Opie and Anthony show. You, you I love you guys too. I listen to you guys all the time. You I love you not. too, man. Yeah, I do. I do. My buddy right from now. my buddy Tony Vanilla. What's your favorite call part me. of the show, Jamie? Like when you listen to this show, what's your favorite bit? Yeah. The time that all of you guys, comedian, they're on it. I love that Very show. Generic. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very generic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Name really one thing we've done. Ted, what? Name one bit we've done. Signature bit. One signature bit. I mean, the, uh, for example, the stuff you do all of the time you do. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. The time yeah. you were in another station, you, you were doing. I was fighter. getting in Los Angeles. was getting a whole thing about you guys put in competition, sex stuff. was going to the guy having right. it in a church and all of that stuff. Yeah, it's, 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 church. It's, 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 oh, it's yeah. O&A Party Rock. Does that, does yeah. that mean anything? O&A Party Rock? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what WOW is? Yes. What, what is, is it? it? Wow! 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 Yeah! Wow! W O W. What is yeah. wow? Yeah! Wow! It has something to do with our show. Yeah. Wow! No. Wow! No. Yeah, no. Mm. Right. no wow. Well, we just started. That's that that we, we, we don't do it that much. Bit. So yeah. We don't do it that much. You might recognize it as Flash Friday. Okay. Tom Speaking Lickus. of ripping Stop. off, don't yeah. even Who's get me started. Yeah. Fucking like us. That's stinks. stupid, Tom Lick ass. <laughs> anyway, who's at the club this week in New York? Uh, everybody. Good con okay. everybody. <laughs> everybody. I mean, I don't want all of the seven Mike, stars. Michael Richards? Huh? No, Michael Richards? Richards? Yeah, no, because you guys, you all, all I even name want to say. Name one comic who's there, I know, Jamie. I know, I know. Oh, for Jamie. Example, hey, Jamie, buddy. name one comic who's Jamie, there. just say Michael Richards is going to be there. You, Dan Cook is my friend, buddy. Yeah. Jamie, you could be, you you could be the president. Here. You could be the fucking president. <laughs> Why? I can see you at a podium getting asked a question and just fucking going like, if you Aries. Want, when are we getting out of Iraq? It's a big country. You say Aries Spears? Yeah. Tremendous thief. Oh, Tree here we go. <laughs> I knew I, if I said only guy anybody I said he's going to That's pick not up. true. That's what? not true. I'm a huge supporter of comedians. It's yeah. not true. Yeah. yeah. Aries Spears the thief. And you know what he is, store, don't you? Oh, yeah. Former cast member of Mad. That's right. Too yeah, big. and he worked with Damon Wayne right now on his new show. Uh, you know what Damon Wayne's is? A brother of other uh, Damon Wayne's uh, Wayne's uh, brothers. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> what the fuck? There you Excuse go. me. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Tonight? All right, listen. We got to wrap. I should have just said nigger. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh, oh, R. Nelson. <laughs> what do you say, Jamie? Say it once, Buddy. just for old time's sake. Say it what what time. shall I say? Bigger. The word. Say bigger. The, bigger. 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 Yeah. Okay, guys. You picked on me now. Now no, say, no, say no. Now say no. Now say nickel. No. No. <laughs> and we will edit All that right. together. <laughs> All right, guys. You're Nobody great. Thank no. you very much. Hey, Jamie. Say I love no you guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let me wrap this up. Yeah. Jamie, before you come back on the show, you got to do a little research. You got to understand our show. You, you don't listen to our show, which is fine. You're a busy guy. No, but, don't but I, forget. I'm working you, until 2 o'clock, 3 uh, o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. fine. You know, I get mean, you've got to look at this. In L.A., get an XM. Listen for a couple weeks, and then we're going to test you. Why don't we get Jamie okay. an XM? We can get Jamie Miss not an XM. No, we, I get, let's get, get him an XM. No, I, I get an XM. Right and right. next time right. I'm in here, I'll you test we me everything. We have one for him, then? Because we're very yeah. sharp here, right Jamie. Now. We know when people Stop. are like kind of... Okay, okay. Don't get on my case, please, guys. I'm going to do it. One of the best clubs in L.A., if not the best club. Beautiful fucking club.